Good morning everyone, this is Bremster and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle with a weird name. Puzzle number 400, Thermo Avro Hybrid Sudoku by Akash Delani. Why puzzle number 400? Well, because for years now, Akash Delani has been posting puzzles semi-regularly, actually regularly, um, um, though I say semi-regularly because while it's been happening often, I don't think it's been happening like to a schedule, could be wrong, um, over on his blog. Um, and this is the 400th puzzle that has been posted for free on Akash Delani's blog. Um, now, I'll throw a link to the blog below. It's actually one of the sites that I found very early on in my Sudoku solving career because it is, it's been going for five or six or something years. It's actually been going for a very long, maybe longer. Like um, when I got into Sudoku in late 2019, it, it was already well established and had a lot of puzzles on it. Um, and so, yeah, it's just a, a, a wonderful place to go to get some amazing puzzles by a phenomenal setter. Now, Akash Delani is also the person responsible for the world of Sudoku books, which are probably some of the better books for, I, I highly recommend, for people who are getting into Sudoku. If you want to explore classic Sudoku, killer Sudoku, um, or you know, the variant Sudokus, Akash Delani's books are excellent for that. They are a, a step above uh, or they start easy and ramp up in difficulty, but they don't ramp up to a point where you're going to be tearing your hair if you've got any out. Um, they are designed to be just beautiful progressions through the logic of the constraints that the books are about. Um, and I get a lot of pleasure from solving the world of Sudoku books. I, um, I, I've sat down with my mother quite a lot and solved them. We, we just love those books. So... Um, and they're available physical or not. And you can find links to the pages, the stores where you can buy those books in PDF or physical format on his blog site, the, um, which, as I said, I will link to below. But 400 puzzles published to your blog is a huge achievement. I, I think that is just a wonderful thing. And this was a puzzle designed to celebrate that. This The puzzle was only released a couple of days ago on the blog as of me recording. So I wanted, I reached out to Akash and said, can I do this as a celebration video to let people know that your blog exists, to congratulate you on 400 puzzles posted um, and to let people know about all of the amazing stuff that you do. So yeah, here it is. That's what I'm doing. I do a Kashtilani stuff quite a bit on the channel because it is so good. Um, so let's have a look at puzzle number 400, Thermo Arrow Hybrid Sudoku. So what do we have? Um, I'm, I've grabbed the rules and everything from the original, but I've had to reset it. He publishes using Penpa. Penpa doesn't work on all computers and, and everything. So I'm, I, I've reset this for Sudoku pad. Um, so anyway, no, um, classic Sudoku rules apply, which is the same as normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row and in every column the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition additionally there are some thermometers shapes in the grid the digits um, are increasing in order from the bulb to the tip so this digit will be higher than this this digit will be higher than this this digit will be higher than this digits must rise as they go along the thermometer um the and then there are some arrow shapes in the grid these are arrows um, the sum of the digits along the path of each arrow this is the path of the arrow must be equal to the digit in the circled cell um, digits may repeat along an arrow um, so they're the rules of the puzzle um, rules are quite simple I'm not sure how difficult this puzzle is going to be I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer let's give this a shot so this arrow here is very long and I'm pretty certain it's going to be forced because the minimum I can put in here is one two three the minimum I can put in here is one two because these cells all see each other in the box these cells see each other in the box this is six this is three add six and three you get nine which is the maximum digit I can put into a single cell so that is all forced this can't be one or two so this is a okay so let's put maximums in the maximum here is nine eight seven six and five so this is three four five four five six five six seven six seven eight and seven eight nine because i can't use one or two in here mm, okay so this now has hang on this has a maximum of eight maximum seven maximum six maximum five maximum four maximum three this is forced one two three four five six seven and eight because it couldn't be a nine now so these circles only have two degrees of freedom maximum nine maximum eight so actually i can just pencil mark them i know they're two degrees of freedom one two two three this is three so this is two one because i couldn't put a four in it so this is four five five six six seven seven eight eight nine Okay. 
Okay. This one takes one out of there. The two takes two out of there. The three takes three out of there. This two makes this the one and this the two. That puts one up here somewhere. So one can't be here or here, but I can't put one partway along a thermo. So that becomes a one. Do I need to ask the same question? So you can never put nine anywhere except the tip of a thermo. You can never put one anywhere except the bulb of a thermo. But I don't think that's actually coming into play here. Hmm. I mean, the thermos are getting me down to pairs and everything, but I'm not sure what they're doing yet. Because these don't seem very restricted. There's a weird thing going on in this row with nine. Like, if this is a nine, this becomes forced. Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four. Otherwise, this is a nine. And I don't know what that does. If that's a nine, then if that's a nine, then what is... Oh, that could just be a low digit. Because nine is in one of those. Nine is not here. Nine is not in any... Oh, so nine is in one of those two. One is in one of those two. So this has a minimum of four because it can't be one, because it can't be one because one is down here because otherwise if I don't put one down here, where's one in this box? So this is a minimum of four. So this is a minimum. So this is six, seven or nine because it can't be, it has to be higher than, it, uh, it has to be um, higher than four. It can't be five or eight. So it's six, seven or nine. This is a minimum of two. Two and three are in here. It's going to be something redonkulous. Okay, this isn't six. So this isn't five. Oh, uh, where is eight in this box by Sudoku? This eight means that eight isn't there. I can't put eight that far along a the thermo. This is the eight. This is the nine. Which means, where is 9 in this row now? I can't put it in there. So 9 in this row has to be along here, but I can't put it partway along the thermo. It was redonkulously simple. I just didn't see it. So 8 is now not in those. It's not there. 8 is in one of those two. Is it the same with 7? No, I could put 7 there. 7 could go actually in any of those, I think. Actually, I can't put 4, 5 there. Oh, I could put... I was wondering about 4 or 5 in this row. I think I'm looking at this wrong. Because 4 or 5 can't go there. Because of those. This is 3, 4, 5. So 3 is vertical here. There's no six there. This, hang on, I took the wrong digit out. There's no, there's no six there. So this could. One isn't in any of those. So one is in one of those two. I'm just completely blind today. I feel it's this row. Because these are three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is three, six, seven, eight, which is so close to a triple, it's not funny. 
Oh, where's two in this column? That'll do it. I can't put two here because of that two. I can't put two in any of those because of that two. And the one, two, three means this is the only place for the two. So this is the one, this is the three. It means this isn't the one, this is the one. Two is now in one of those two. And, a... and now this has to be the three because three has to go in there in the box. So this isn't the three. This is the three. This is a four, five. So this is six, seven, or eight. So this is seven, eight, nine. Close. This is now a four, five pair because four, five can't go there but I have to put four or five in this box. This is a four or five pair. So this is six, seven, eight. Because it can't be nine. This is six, seven, eight. Hmm. One is here in this column, because I have to put one in this column. The one and one mean it's up here, but that one means it's not there. This is the one. So one is down here, but of course it's in one of those two, because it can't be partway along in thermo or in the same column as a one. So these are four, five, seven, and nine. Not sure. I mean, that can't be a five and that can't be a four. Is there something going on here? I don't think so. Because this could be any combination of the two and that could be what's left over. Although that might interfere with it. If this is seven, yeah, this can't be a seven because if this is a seven, this is a six and they both see that cell. So this is not a seven. We know six is pointing down here. This is not a six. But I don't think I can repeat that. Because this could go six, eight. This could be seven, and then that'd be eight, nine. This could be seven, eight. This would be six, and that could be eight, nine. This could be six, eight, seven. Yeah, that's now got some freedom. And similarly here, this could be four, six, seven, oh, hang on a minute, that might be an issue because all four of those see that. This is a quintuple. So if this is five, six, seven, eight, that's broken. That has to be a four, which means four is in one of those two. Now, if this is six, seven, eight, that's broken. So this has to be a five, which means five is in one of those two. That's very cool. I like that. Now, I know three is down here by Sudoku. If this is three, well, hang on. The maximum here was eight. Seven is in one of those three. Maximum here is now seven. Maximum here is now five. So this is two, three, or five. No, it can't be five. Maximum here is three. It's two or three, because it can't be four or five. And it can't be six. So this is two or three. This can't be three, four, five. This is six or seven. So this isn't six. This is seven, eight. This is a six. Which means by Sudoku, this is a six. Six is in one of those two. This is very strange. I, I don't think I'm doing this well. I don't think I'm doing this puzzle justice. So these are seven, eight, nine with nine looking up. So that's an eight, that's a seven, that's a six. That's an eight. There's no eight in there, that's a seven, nine. So that's the eight, takes eight out of those. That's a six, seven pair. So that's a nine. This can't be a seven anymore. So it's five and four and five, which makes that four and five. Takes five out of there, makes that five. Takes four out of there, makes that four, which makes that two. One, two, three, four, that's the seven. This row is missing a two, which makes that the three and that the eight. That's beautiful. 
assuming I haven't made a mistake. Anyone who knows me knows I've probably made a mistake. Um... So this can't be an 8 anymore, so its maximum is 7. This can't be a 6 anymore, or a 5, so its maximum is 4. So this thing has a maximum of 3. So this is 2 or 3, 3 or 4, can't be 4, 5, 6 or 7. So they're the digits that can go into those. Okay, let's look at this column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 4, 7 and 9 go into those. That's not a 9. So I know 9 is down here. Okay, what's the Sudoku I'm missing? 5 is in... Oh, where's 5? 5 and 5 means in this box 5 is not in any of those, and that 5 means it's not there. This is a 5, which means 5 is down here. That 4 center pencil mark is bugging me. Actually, no, this can't be 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 anymore, or 7 or 8. This is a 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and I can't put 9 on an arrow. This is a 6. So this is not a 6. This can't be a 1, so this can't be a 7. This is a 9. This is a 3. There you go. This 2 looks down saying, that's not the 2. This is the 2 by Sudoku. This six looks back saying that's not the six, so this is the six. This is a four or a seven. Why did I type seven, eight in there? So six, three puts th means that's the four. The two looks up meaning that's the three. This triple, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, one, eight, and nine. There's no eight there, there's no one there. There's no eight there. So the one nine pair makes that the eight. Ah, the nine here makes that the one. There's no nine there. This is a four or a seven, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, four or seven. And the four looks down, making that the seven, that the four, which makes that the seven, which makes that the nine, which makes that the seven, which makes that the nine. This row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is missing an eight. These are one, two, four, and five. And the four looks down, making that the five and that the four. This is fun. This is not the one. This is the nine. So this is the one. This column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There is no five in either of the bottom ones. Uh, not sure about the six, seven, but I've got a six, seven pair here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, and nine go into those. I'll use that nine to make that the two and that the nine. I'll use that four to look up, make that the seven, which makes that the six, which makes that the seven, which looks across making that the six and that the seven. Uh, this box, I just need to finish the box. So I need to put a three in. It's not in any of those and it's not there. So there's the three. I need a four, which is not there or there. So there's your four. The last two digits are six and eight. And I'll use that eight to make that the six and that the eight. And that is the correct solution to puzzle number 400. Thermo Arrow Hybrid Sudoku by Akash Dulani. That was really fun. Now, the interesting thing to me is I only just put this into Sudoku Pad about 20 minutes ago. Well, uh, 25 minutes ago. And it's had two solves in 9.8 hours. So someone else put this into Sudoku Pad um, about 10 hours ago. I don't know who... But it's very cool that they did. And they just copied the title the same way I did. So that's really, that's really cool. Um, I don't know who did that, but it, it, apparently it's a thing. Someone else wanted to solve it in Sudoku Pad rather than Penpa. Um, very, very cool puzzle. Um, I like that one a lot. Um, so thank you, Akash Jalani, for everything you do for the community. Thank you for the wonderful puzzles. Go check out his blog. Go check his books out there. They're quite cheap. Um, I think there's been not there has been nine of them so far, um, and they're like five or I think in PDF format they're like between five and ten bucks depending on the size of the books. Um, and that may sound like a lot, like forty five or fifty bucks for some books. It's not. You are getting thousands of puzzles, and they are all great. Um, so, yeah, just stunningly good value. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I hope you're enjoying everything, and as always, good luck with your solving.